Hello everyone, this is Tan Colbert with Colbert Tech Repair, and today I thought I would give you guys a little quick tip for those of you who are using the Cyberlink PowerDirector 12 and having rendering issues. Now, I myself have been having issues with rendering the videos as I'm trying to watch them. Like, say, you pull in a video, you pull it in, and you would go to render it. but instead of playing like this it would skip every two or three seconds well what what is happening is with the new if you have a nvidia graphics card the new nvidia graphics drivers are not working right with the cyber director pro program i don't know why i don't know why it's happening but i had to go and revert my drivers to a later driver and it fixed the problem immediately so all you have to do is go to the NVIDIA website, it's www.nvidia.com, click on support, and click on download drivers. So what you would do is you would go here to the NVIDIA support page. I have the GTX 780, so I would go down here, I would click 780, make sure it's on my operating system, and go down here to beta and older drivers. Click down here, and once again, make sure you have your GTX 780 or your graphics card selected and hit search. Now as you can see here the current drivers are the R331 game ready drivers. With these drivers there is a problem with the CyberDirector Pro software. I do not know exactly what the problem is but I know that this does fix it. All you have to do is go down and download the latest the driver that is underneath the R331 game ready driver which in this case it's a 331.40 driver and just click on the driver and then you'd click download and after you download the, the driver you would go in and in the install instead of clicking on express install click on custom install and do a clean install of your driver and after you do that you should experience no further problems with your cyber director pro rendering slowly Alright guys, this has been Tank Colbert, Colbert Tech Repair. I hope this little tip helped people that are using the CyberLink PowerDirector 12 and are having rendering issues with NVIDIA cards. It sure has helped me. Um, I don't know why the R331 drivers are not compatible with this software. I don't know if the same problems are existing with Sony Vegas or Adobe. But with CyberDirector, it is happening. And all you have to do is revert to the latest... WQHL driver that is not the R331 game ready driver. Alright guys, this has been Tan Colbert with Colbert Tech Repair. I hope this little tech tip has helped you out. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you didn't, feel free to give me a dislike. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down in the comment section below. You can find me on my social media on Twitter at TanColbert92 and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Colbert Tech Repair. I'll see you guys next time.